Hey, I'm Albert from Muffin Group and from now on I will be making a video tutorials about the Bee Theme and the Bee Builder. If you have any feedback about this video or just want me to make a tutorial about something you don't know how to use, feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you. Ok, so let's move on to the topic. In this tutorial I would like to show you how to create two different types of full with videos in the Bee Builder. Uh, the first one is gonna be uh, the full with video as an element, as you actually see on my screen, I already put such video between two different sections uh, and this is what I'm gonna to show you today. And uh, The other type of the video is sections background video. Uh, it's great choice if, for example, you don't want to use plugins like Slider Revolution uh, and Using this solution, you will be able to put, for example, full screen video uh, or just a background video uh, with some uh, content in front of it, like uh, texts, images, uh, sliders, etc. Okay, let's jump into the Big Builder to show you how to add the full with video in the content as an element. Uh, so, the first thing I'm gonna do is add a new section. The reason why I need a new section is just because the sections above and below the section with the video got the padding on site, uh, which I don't need uh, in a section with the full width video. So basically, this is that's why I added a new section. And uh, now I have to choose the wrap layout and find the video element. All I need to do now is just drag and drop. As you actually see, there is a side padding on the left to right side uh, that I want to get rid of. And to do that, I have to go to the settings of the section where the video is and in the settings style tab, all I have to do is check the full width option. That's great. Now the video is full width. If you use version of BTIM 26.3.3 uh, or newer, then uh, you have to reset the margin for the video element uh, to remove those side paddings. And to do that, all you have to do is go to the settings of the video element and in advanced spacing tab, you need to set zero for the right margin and zero for the left. Now. If we'll go back to the settings of that section and we will uncheck the full width option, you will see that the video will be still full width. The video you actually see on my screen um, is a default video that comes with the video element upload. Um, this video comes from our uh, YouTube channel, but of course you can replace it with your own and all you have to do is go to the settings of the video element and instead of the default video ID you have to put your own to YouTube or Vimeo video. Uh, it's really important to remember that all you have to put in this field is just a video ID not the whole link because if you will put the complete link and uh, the video won't work. There is also another uh, nice option uh, underneath the video ID, it's called parameters. Uh, it's an option where you can define multiple parameters uh, for the videos like how to play, loop and many other that are supported by YouTube or Vimeo. There is also another option uh, that is reserved for self-hosted videos. If you have a video file and uh, that you don't want to upload to your YouTube or Vimeo channel, and you just want to show on your page and then all you have to do is uh, choose such video from your media library and put it into B Builder. Uh, as you actually see there is still default video uh, from the YouTube is just because uh, it's more important than uh, self-hosted video so all I have to do is just remove the video ID and now 
my self-hosted video that I already uploaded appeared. Okay, let's move on to the sections background video. Uh, I'm gonna to uh, create it uh, as the first section on the same page. Uh, and the first thing I'm gonna do is add the section. Um, and as soon as we have a section, uh, we need to select the wrap layout. Uh, it's always necessary because unless we won't select the wrap layout, uh, the section would be always empty. Because I'm not going to add any special content in this section, uh, so it doesn't matter which wrap layout I'm gonna choose. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is go to the settings of that section and in the advanced background tab I need to switch to video option and I will choose the same video as I said previously for the video element in the content. That's great. So you can see there is a small part of the video uh, at the very top of that page. Uh, but if I will update this page now and I will view the page, there would be no such video. Uh, and this is the most proper behave. Uh, in the B Builder, um, there is some uh, elements like uh, the options for the wrap, for the section, uh, the option to add element. And this is the reason why you see this small part of section. So you basically know what you're working on. Uh, however, because there is uh, no content uh, in this section, uh, in front end, such a section basically does not appear at all. And now, if I want my background video to be visible without any content inside, all I have to do is go to the settings of that section and in the advanced spacing tab, I need to set top and bottom padding. Uh, let's say I'm gonna set 500 pixels for top and 500 pixels for bottom. That's great. This is exactly what I wanted to do. And now, if I will update this page and view it in front and again, you will see that the video is fully visible and behave exactly the way I wanted it to behave. I know very well that for some of you, uh, the solution with top and bottom padding for the section might not be elegant enough uh, so I would like to show you another way uh, to uh, display uh, the background video uh, without any content inside the section or the wrap. Uh, so basically the first thing I'm gonna do uh, is remove the top and bottom padding I already set and the video is again uh, really small and but I already explained why and uh, so when to make this video uh, the size of the screen right now, uh, you have to go to the dimensions tab and for the high, you have to set full screen. And as you can see, the video is now the same size as the screen is. If we will update this page and view it in front end, you will see that the video is exactly the size of my screen. That is all for this video, thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.